I certify, and I lie not, why, Paul? Part 4. We ended our last study with a sidebar record of an occurrence in the life and ministry of Paul that we'll learn is very significant. He and Barnabas were in Antioch ministering the message Paul had been instructed by the risen Lord to preach when certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Acts 15 verse 1. As noted previously, something very similar was the purpose of Paul in writing the Galatian epistle. Let's consider some key items and ask some more questions. Remember, Paul opened his Galatian epistle noting, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Galatians 1 verse 6 Apparently, like what happened in Antioch, someone's had been troubling the Galatian believers with the same type of teaching, foreign to what Paul had been instructed of Christ to preach. So vital was it that he undo this damage, that Paul's Galatian epistle gives a history lesson on just how his apostleship and the revelation he received from the risen Lord developed. In this history, we've already seen that after his Damascus encounter with the Lord, contrary to what might have seemed logical, he didn't rush over to Jerusalem to find out what to do or say or receive training from the Twelve. Then Paul makes two interesting proclamations, bookending this history, stating, 1. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Galatians 1 verses 11 to 12, and 2. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. Galatians 1 verse 20. Here we see that Paul is developing his case, if you will, before the Galatian believers reaffirming his special apostleship and the special revelation that the risen Lord gave him to share, as well as the verity of what he is going to relate in what is the Galatian epistle. That this revelation to Paul is not what he would have been instructed of the twelve had he gone there for instruction, by now is obvious. And once again, the student of the word will ask why. We'll see answers to several whys which we've asked thus far as we continue.